Here we are again on the support page with uh, Rainbow Yoshi and Electrical. We are here tonight to discuss the four different versions of the Wi-Fi hubs that you can get to this day. So there's four different models and there is only one that we actually would recommend and we'll get to it at the end of this video. So we'll start with the very first hub, the Gen 1 Tower Hub that came out when the Orchestra of Lights were first released in 2018. It comes basically in a blue box, just like the original items that you'll see, like the topiary garland and stuff like that looks like this. Um, so this is the one that I would definitely avoid because this is the one that will not really get your display working the greatest. But uh, with this one, basically, you have no binding capabilities. Um, you don't have the greatest range. And you don't also have the option to reset any of your items. So this is the one hub that we would not recommend you get. That is correct. So pretty much the range that it tells you on the app and all that when you first got it 40, 40 feet away from the hub, we simply found that it did not work. Matter of fact, when I was using a Gen 1 tower hub, I had it right by my front door. And it could barely pick up a projection set that I had 10 feet away from it outside. Now, if you put the hub outside, which not going through any exterior walls, just a straight line, it can do the 40 feet, but it, can't, it could not do it through any sort of concrete walls or anything getting to the exterior of the building. So those are the so that's from 2018 to 2020 is the hubs uh, for the first uh, one that we're explaining here. The Gen 1 Tower Hub is the one we would not recommend you get. However, in 2021, they have introduced us to a whole new uh, version of the Tower Hub, which would look like this. Uh, it comes in this black box, the um, black box you'd see today. Um, it's just the old tower hub. This is the one I started with back uh, when I started my collection in 2021. Uh, this one basically only introduces, it's basically like the Gen 1 tower hub we talked about earlier. However, it introduces the binding option and it also gives you the option to reset your items. So that is the only uh, downside with the binding option. Other than that, though, I do like the binding option, uh, especially with the new one that we'll be chatting with you about in a little bit. But um, currently, I'm using the latest one, which, again, we'll get into. But we have one more to cover before we get to it. And that is the 2023 version of the hub. I don't have the box for it with me right now, but um, it's definitely a jump from 2022 to 2023. You'll be getting so much more of an improvement 
not only uh, do you have every capability that the Gen 2 Tower Hubs have, but you're able to upgrade the antenna as you wish. Yes. So, pretty much the 2023 hub, instead of it being a Tower Hub, is now a Ethernet hub with antenna. So, you have the option to do a wire or wireless Wi-Fi compared to the old Tower Hubs only had wireless over the Wi-Fi it would have connections to Wi-Fi drop issues. I had it all the time. Ever since I went with a wire hub, it's been working out for me fine. And um, the only downside about it is that 2023 did not allow cellular issue or the cellular connection. So that means that you could not connect to the lights if you weren't on the same Wi-Fi network as that hub. You couldn't even be on any Wi-Fi network. You had to be on the Wi-Fi network with the hub in order to connect to it. Now, the antenna is you can always disconnect and put on a different antenna out of the box. The antenna still is just like a tower hub. It does not like going through the walls or anything. Um, and you have to put it in a certain spot, and you have to put it high up in your, in your home for it to work properly. And there were some more connection issues that they improved in 2024. We'll, we'll get to that one in just a minute. But 2023, um, I had no problem with it last year taking it outside. It did connect to all the lights just fine. Um, there's been some connection issues also with the songs. Like when I got my 2023 hub, uh, it did not allow you to um, control the speaker items individually. Unlike the tower hubs, you can turn off a speaker item and have another one play. So I did have a little bit of echoing until they fix that with a later uh, a later Wi-Fi update. And that brings us to the final hub in the series. So this is the next this is the hub that both of us are currently using. It is the 2024 tower uh not tower but this is the new the newest one that you can get in stores now this is the 2024 model and it's definitely new and improved as it says on the box so not only uh does it give you the cellular option again to where you can connect them to them over cellular i have tried it before uh with my security cameras and it worked fine but uh not only do you have that but you also have the option to be able to uh change the antenna again however to keep in mind uh, with this one, um, if you want to use the 2024 antenna on a 2023, uh, you can't do it because they actually have changed the connections on them. So you cannot just uh, take a 2024 one and put it on a 2023 one. They have uh, changed it to where it is. Uh, you have to have a female connector on the antenna for it to work. Yes, so pretty much they uh, just flip the pin on the antenna. So instead of the, one of them has a pin on the hub, the other one depends on the antenna. You can't uh, interchange them. Um, I had to use an adapter to do it. And the antenna itself works amazing. The hub itself, it allows for cellular capabilities. It also allows for the speaker items. I could turn off a speaker item and have just certain speaker items play, or I could turn one down, turn another one up if I need a little bit louder. It all works fine. And also, um, this was an update last year for the 2023 hub, forgot to mention, but they used to be 20, 25 items you can connect to the hub without tricking it. But now it's 60. You can connect up to 60 items without tricking it. Which is a much, uh, definitely an improvement we needed because I had to trick my 2023 one last year, but now with this 2024 one, you can do 60. But I don't know how many people are going to be going past 60 and have to trick it. Probably not that many people, but um, for but for both of us, ne neither of us now this year had to trick our hubs. Yeah. If, if I had the 2025 hub limit, I would have had to trick it this year uh, because I've added a bunch of new items this year. Um, my... 2024 hub is going to help me this year with a lot of that. So hopefully uh, there won't be any issues in connection between items. I have so far tested it and I'm able to put lights pretty much um, all around the front of the house. And 
Yeah, so I mean, so basically with the amplifier, if you're wondering uh, how I got to work with 2024, I just had to get another adapter. I had to change the DZ blocker on it from male to female. That's all I had to do, and I got it to work again with this year's model hub. So that's the difference between all the four hubs. Which one do we recommend? Of course, it's going to be the 2024 model. This is definitely 100 times better than the 2018 to 2020 models. Um, all And also, as we mentioned before, you have to have um, a um, 2021 model or higher to do the multiple hub setup. And we definitely recommend you have multiple 2024s as it's just going to give you the best results. Try it. So that is our recommendations. Of course, um, never buy, like I never bought. The only reason why I have Gen 1 Tower Hubs is because they came with some of my old 2018 items. It's the only reason why I have them. But if other than that, I wouldn't recommend getting the Gen 1 Tower Hubs or even Gen 2. I'd recommend that you just have a 2023 or 4 model. So either way, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully this video was informative. And if you want to see a, um, a video on how you can uh, amplify your signal, I'll probably put a link in the description on uh, how you can amplify the range on your hub. And spoiler alert, it works fantastic. Um, I showed everyone else the, uh, the range I have now with my hub, and they were like blown away by how good my range is now. And... Um, it also goes through floors as well. Like I tried a couple hanging snowflakes before I put them up in the basement before I put them up for the season and they had no problems uh, finding my hub. So definitely recommend if you're trying to cover a large area or heck, even if you're trying to cover like a small area, maybe get like a smaller um, amplifier, just so you know, everything will work. However, unfortunately, uh, Jemmy does not recommend it, and it will void your warranty, so I would recommend getting another hub just for that reason. But other than that, um, what do you think, Electrical? What do you think of my uh, range, just to let everyone else know? I think it's pretty good. Even the 2024 models. So, yeah, that's a little bit of an interesting story with the amplifier. Again, if you guys want me to make a, um, a video on how I amplified a 2024 model or how you could do it with a 2023 one, definitely let me know in the comment section below, and I will uh, help you out with that. But either way, I guess that will end off this video. So, um, if you all enjoyed it, be sure to definitely give a like and also comment and subscribe. Uh, one more thing before I end the video: if you don't, if you want to amplify, if you don't want to amplify your hub, which I wouldn't blame you, it costs a lot of money to do it. If you only want to do like a small amount of uh, range, just get a better DBI antenna. Like in case like the 2024 one still doesn't work for you, just get a better antenna. Just make sure it has a uh, female connector on it, or if not, just get the adapter. So. I think that's all we have to say now for uh, the hub comparison.
So, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.